All right, good evening, hi, and welcome. All right, so here's my 1920 proc up violin, and uh, it did it. Oh, it did. Watch this. It is up to tune. Yes, it is. So now what I gotta do? Is go let it sit for a little while. Oh, get me around here. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a good look at this thing. Interesting history. Here we go. I sort of cleaned it off. Looks good. I have a better look at the back. Hard to believe that I paid only $100 for this thing. Although it has pulled apart on me many times. But that back, just look at that back. Yep, it's pretty nice. So, we'll look at the scroll. Hopefully I got it in good. Yes, those are viola pegs. Uh, one of the things about the proc up violins is that uh, they're not like a normal violin. Uh, proc up tried to do his own thing to break from the mold, so to speak. So, if we are to grab the... 1713 Stradivari, put it beside. <laughs> These are both full size violins. Huh? 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 At first, I thought this was a 7 8 violin. It's not, it's, it's, a, it's a full size. But you get the idea. If this is a, a 4 4 violin, then this thing's like a, a 1 and an eighth or something <laughs> it's a much longer pattern violin it's a lot wider than most violins and of course the fingerboard is see they almost start at about the same spot here but you can see like this is definitely a wide longer fingerboard it's wider it's longer it's bigger and so are the tuning peg Holes on a proc up violin. Uh, they he did that on purpose because of the finickiness of the little tuners, uh, tuning pegs. Um, he wanted more reliability, so he went with a bigger peg box. So Stradivari, proc up, Stradivari, proc up. So, uh, which also big violins give you big sound. This is probably more similar to what you would get with a French violin if you've ever played an average French violin, which I've only played a couple of them. The one I tried was like $12,000. It was, I forget how old it was. It was pretty old. Uh, it came out of the same shop this did. And this one. In fact, all my violins came out of the same shop, except for one. Um, and uh, the uh, thing about it was that uh, the... Uh, uh, they, 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 they were just a bigger, longer pattern uh, than the Stradivari pattern. But they were like, basically, like a, a Godzilla Stradivari. Now, here's what we're going to have to look at. Make sure that I don't see any light <laughs> on the heel joint. So hopefully that uh, stays like that. Uh, the only thing I'm going to show you here is now what I have to do now that it's up to tune up to pitch you can see that the uh, strings are way too high they're okay like, down here at the nut uh, I just got to get the right angle for my hand here there we go so they're okay down there but down here they're definitely a little too high so uh, bridge not too bad bridge is not too bad I've seen worse uh, so what I'm gonna do is basically allow this violin to settle for a few days at pitch and then what I'll probably do is take down the bridge or see if I have the other bridge that was definitely sh shorter than this one and if so I'll see if I can swap them out and get the action down just a little bit more there we go I just wanted to show you the the awesome 1920 proc up violin and I did do a video about the history of uh, proc up violins I'm sure um, but I might have to do it again. So again, 
I know the lighting in here is not the greatest, but if you can just see the colors of this thing. Very, very beautiful. All right, there we go.